Hi, I'm Lauren Green. Welcome to Bias Bash. And in the center square today is Cal Thomas talking about Martin Bashir being fired, not fired, technically resigned from MSNBC for his comments about Sarah Palin. Hey, Cal, how you doing? Hi, Lauren. Nice to be with you as always. Nice to be with you. So what, what do you think is the most important thing to remember about the Martin Bashir issue here? Well, first of all, Lauren, I, I don't believe people should be fired for uh, or resign uh, for language that they use. My good friend Nat Hentoff, that great defender of the First Amendment, says the answer to speech you don't like is not less speech, but more speech. I think that he should have been required to apologize to Sarah Palin in person mm -hmm. and on television because that's where the offense occurred. Just to resign and issue a statement I don't think is sufficient. Uh, number two, I think what continues to amaze me is the vitriol heaped on this woman by the secular left. I mean, she lost the election in 2008. She holds no position of power. She can't pass any legislation requiring anybody to change their lifestyle. And yet uh, many on the left continue to dump on her. I think there are several reasons for that. Number one, she has a stable marriage. She embraces conservative values. She's an open and unapologetic Christian. Mm -hmm. And she had a baby she knew uh, had Down syndrome. Now, all of these are challenges to the secular left's reigning philosophy. So that's the only uh, explanation I can have why they continue to beat up on this woman. A, a, a process, by the way, that would never be tolerated if a conservative did it to, uh, say, Hillary Clinton. Well, what, in, the, in the Martin Bashir case, I mean, when you look at the video, when you look at the, the segment he did, he basically had to amass all of this video, all of these things. Why aren't more of the executives at MSNBC held responsible? Because somebody would have had to approve this more than him. More than, he was not the only person who knew what was going to, what was going to happen. Well, there's a difference between a, an off-the-cuff remark, and Lord knows we've all made them, including me, and one that is scripted and has been pointed out. It was in the teleprompter. He clearly wrote it. He thought about it. Uh, he could have thought, well, wait a minute, maybe I better soften this up a little bit, or maybe it's too outrageous, or maybe because I'm a, a professed Christian I should be a little more uh, uh, tolerant and a little kinder in my remarks. But apparently uh, none of those things uh, applied. As for management, when was the last time that management... Uh, was ever held accountable for anything, Lauren. Now, we've been around the business long enough. I mean, bad ratings, I could name some names. People have gone from one network to another. Uh, if this were sports and you messed up as much, no other team would take you. But management continues, apparently, to survive because they look out for each other. So they're not going to take uh, responsibility. I noticed the Media Research uh, Center said if, if uh, NBC management, which, of course, owns MSNBC, uh, doesn't come out with its own apology, then, according to the MRC, uh, they, in fact, uh, endorse and condone what uh, Mr. Bashir said. They, you know, it's a little, little interesting when you say he is a professor and committed Christian, and those yeah. statements that he made doesn't seem like he's sort of walking the talk, do you think? I mean, I don't know. I mean, you've, you've spoken to him about his faith. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, yes, I have. But I, I think, uh, you know, you can't judge another person's faith. We're specifically forbidden uh, from doing that. But there, there is, uh, when you get into this political atmosphere and you have... Uh, the kinds of shows that they do on NBC where people, and Bill Maher on HBO, where you're allowed to get away with all kinds of incredible language that, again, would not be tolerated if it were a conservative, say, on Fox, being said about a, a more liberal person or a Democrat person, uh, then I, I think, uh, you know, the atmosphere, the environment encourages this kind of uh, outrageous behavior. It's like pornography, I guess. You know, certain levels of it 50 years ago were a lot different than I'm told them uh, what they are today, far more explicit things. So when you would tolerate one level, whether it's pornography or, or, uh, or nasty speech, it simply means that you're going to go to the next level without any controls on you. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, interesting story about Martin Bisher. I'm sure, sure he uh, will. He's very talented, so I'm sure he'll suffer yes, some else. Um, yeah. If you want to catch more uh, media analysis such as this and more, catch Media Buzz at 11.30 a.m. Sundays with the host, Howard Kurtz.